Hi, I'm Cheryl Roy, and this is... Joe Tong. We're with InstructionalFitness.com. Today we're going to go over a few video Q&As with you. Hi, our first question comes from Chad from Wichita, Kansas. Chad writes in, your videos show many types of squats and leg presses, but not one of them simply a squat while using a free bar. Is this something that you feel is too dangerous to a person's lower back? I feel from everything I've read elsewhere that this is a very important exercise and would value your opinion. I use instructional fitness daily. Your videos have helped me tremendously compared to the books I've read with photos. It is very helpful to actually see an exercise being performed properly. Thank you for all your help, Chad. Chad, I definitely think free squats are a tremendous exercise to do. The only problem with that, in the very beginning, a lot of people don't have their balance down quite yet, just getting used to doing the exercise, whereas machine, the bar is actually balanced for you. So what I'd recommend is start off with a bar like we talked about with beginners, say a Smith machine. From there, you might want to move to squats with a ball. You can put an exercise ball against your back, go ahead and squat down to parallel position, make sure your form is good. And if you're having some problems with your calves, with tightness or so forth, you can put a small two and a half, five pound plate underneath your heels that'll help with the flexibility. But overall, again, I think free weights are definitely the best exercise you can do. However, they are very dangerous on your disc area, your lumbar area, if performed incorrectly. So again, take it slow, build up some strength, some help your stabilizing muscles to get used to the balancing, and then progress with the uh, free squats. Any input? Uh, I agree with you, definitely. Well, of course you do. It's me. <laughs> free squats are definitely an exercise I think is very important in someone's program. Uh, I think one thing you have to make sure of, and I always do with all my clients, is the most important thing, you want to preserve your knees and make sure your knees aren't going past your toes because the squat is actually performed with your glutes and your hamstrings. So make sure that you're using those muscles as opposed to more of the top of your quad and your knees to perform the exercise. Our next question is going to be from Rich uh, from Connecticut. He asks, what precautions does one take with compressed discs or other spinal cord concerns, such as sciatic compression when trying to bodybuild? I've actually had two back surgeries now, uh, being about 20 years in between, and neither one of them were caused from actually doing squats or anything like that. Uh, if you already have a bulging disc, by all means, go with what your doctor tells you. Uh, if it's already bulging, there's a chance of rupturing a disc or so forth to a worse degree. So listen to what your doctor says. The most important thing is going to be taking pressure off the disc. So that means no type of heavy training. That's only going to put more pressure on it. You're going to want to do things that are going to be light stretching, no bouncing, okay, gradually getting more range of motion, maybe doing some exercises in the pool that's not any resistance or any impact on the body. But I definitely avoid any type of heavy training or anything that's going to put more pressure on that lumbar area. So anything with the bar, like standing calf raises, squats, anything like that is going to put you at a higher risk for actually rupturing the disc. And be patient. Bulging discs do return back to normal if you give it rest and enough time to recover. Our final question is Josh from San Antonio, Texas. What are some good exercises that I can do for each major muscle when I cannot go to the gym? Thanks in advance. Uh, the simple push-ups, great for your chest. Make sure that uh, you're going all the way down, full range of motion, and pressing all the way back up. A lot of the times in the gym, you'll see people do half reps, but always make sure you're getting a good range of motion to get the full contraction in your chest. I, I agree with that. If you're looking for uh, a complete body, I would try to pick one exercise for every group. So like she said, if you're doing push-ups, you can do push-ups with your hands in closer, and that's going to work your triceps. Um, you can also put your back against the wall, squat down parallel, that's going to work your quads. You can even go onto a step and do calf raises with the uh, stair, just using your body weight. Um, with your back, if you happen to have a, a broom, you can put the two chairs facing back to back with a broom in between it, and laying on the floor, you can reach up and pull your chest up to the broomstick, which will mimic chin-ups. So you just have to be creative. There's a lot of good books out there for calisthenics. And a calisthenics you can do using your body weight is going to give you some resistance. So you're going to keep your tone and get a little bit of growth and uh, progress at the same time. I think with that, we have a t-shirt drawing, right? We do. And the person who won the drawing was Chad from Wichita, Kansas, about the squats. 
Congratulations, Chad, and we'll have that shirt out to you right away. Thanks for watching a session of Q&A. And this is Joe and Sherilyn Roy. See you next time.